Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I am back at my apartment up at school and the new semester has begun. So I thought that I would show you guys what I've done to kind of prepare and get ready for the new semester uh, just to help stay organized and be prepared and hopefully get the semester off to a good start. I know that most of you have probably also already started your semester so it might be a little bit late but I'm still going to do this and if you haven't done these things that I go through then I suggest you do them. <laughs> so the first thing that I do to get ready for the new semester is to print out all of my syllabi for my classes. The syllabus to your class is very very important and you always want to keep it with you and have it with you for reference and read through all of it. Usually at the top of a syllabus it has uh, your professor and maybe some TAs and what their office hours are, what their email is, all of that. So you definitely want to make sure that you have all of that information with you all the time. And there's just lots of good information in here about all of your responsibilities, what you're going to learn and when, all of the rules, so like late policies, attendance policies, grades, all of that. And then often at the end of a syllabus, it usually has a calendar with a whole bunch of dates and everything that's due that day, everything that's going to be assigned, what you need to know, what you're going to go over, all of that. This is your lifeline. Which leads me to my next tip, which is to go through all of these assignments that are in your syllabus and especially the exam days. Like I have every exam labeled and usually you know when all of your exams are going to be. So go ahead and go through this and put all of those dates in your planner. That will really help you stay on top of things and keep track of every class and know when assignments are due and coming up and especially know when exams are coming up. So this is my planner here, a 2017-2018 calendar. So I basically just go through this and write down every single thing that I need to know. I haven't gone through everything yet, but so far I have a whole lot landing on Thursdays. <laughs> so I already know that those are going to be my busy days, but at least I know that ahead of time. And going along with the planner, something that has really helped me uh, this last few semesters is having a big whiteboard calendar. It's currently over there, like stuck to the wall, so I'm not gonna like pry it off and bring it over here, but I'll insert some clips in here of what it looks like and how it has helped me. So over here I have my whiteboard calendar that like saves my life. So as you can see, nothing really happened the first two weeks because that was winter break, but school starts here. And I just go through and write down things that I need to have done so that before every week I can look up this and before every day, I just look up here and see what I need to get done. I also have things color coded in red and purple and green and blue and those colors correspond to the folders and colors that I have for each class which I will talk about in just a minute. But yeah, I really like having something like this where I can just erase it and redo every month and keep track of everything I'm doing. It also has these nice lines over here what the road needs to move, <laughs> where I can write to-do lists or notes or things like that so that I have them up here right next to everything else. So like I mentioned with the whiteboard calendar, I think it is very important to color code everything. Right here I have a different folder for every class and right now I have them labeled with a sticky note on here just so that right now I know which class is for which folder. But once I actually get used to the colors and everything, then I can take off the sticky notes and just know which color is for which class. And I correspond these colors with the folders, with the colors on my whiteboard and colors in my planner and all of that so that I know when I write something down what class it is for. Next, it is important to get all of your textbooks. These are all of the textbooks that I need for this semester. And most professors assign reading to either be due the first day of class or due the second day of class. So you usually have to start right away with your textbooks. So you want to make sure that you get them early so that you have them all and can use them right away. However, I do think it's kind of important to sometimes wait until the first day of class if the professor doesn't email you or something ahead of time and make sure that you actually need the textbook. Because there are some classes where you don't really need to get it, but there are others where you will definitely need it. There are also lots of good websites out there like Amazon Rentals, Chegg, Slug Books, and stuff like that where you can get textbooks for relatively cheap. Something else that has really helped me the past few semesters is to either print or write down my schedule and have it like taped right next to my desk so I can always see it and look at it. Here's an example of one that I did for last semester. So again, the colors on here corresponded with the folders and colors I used for that class. And I just had this right next to my desk so that pretty much every day I looked at it and I was like, okay, what classes do I have tomorrow? What time are they at? 
what do I need to get done and it's just a lot easier that way especially when your schedule is confusing and you have classes on different days and they're all over the place it's so much easier to just glance up and see what your classes are and know what you need to get done so put your class schedule somewhere where you can see it next something I'm a pretty big fan of is making to-do lists I love these kinds of notepads that have the lines on them I already have a to-do list here with things that I need to do because my week is going to start getting pretty busy pretty soon. So I just keep this out and with me all the time and I check things off as I go and it just helps me stay on top of things and get everything done in a timely manner. And I think that's pretty much it, but lastly I did also want to show you guys how I organize this binder. This is my binder for the class that I am teaching. I am teaching a class this semester, so it's very important for me to stay organized and on top of things and know that I've got everything ready to go for my class. So down here on the side, there is a little tab for every single week of class. At the front here, I have the syllabus, which I will be editing a little bit more. And then under each week, I basically just have a planning worksheet for the upcoming class. I have grade sheets where I put every student's name and what points they got for that day. I have kind of a reflection worksheet where I talk about what went well in the class, what didn't, and how to better prepare for next time. And yeah, this is just all full of things that I need to get done this semester. <laughs> I think having this weekly organization is a really good way to plan because it just helps you stay on top of things week after week rather than being overwhelmed by everything that's happening. So yeah, that is everything that I have done to get ready for the new semester. I hope that you guys are having a good start to your new semester. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Subscribe if you want to stick around and I'll see you next time. Bye!